No idea. Well, the steam powered ocean egg Tinker Tub Mark II. Looks like it's just you and me now. Let's see if I really got what it takes to be a pirate. Avast, ye red dogs! It's time to slob the. <laughs> what do you mean? Wave anchor. Moist the mainsail! Kill the port blubber! Hi, Captain. <laughs> I love you, Dante. Even though you suck at being a pirate. I'm sorry, this game was right. Anyway, hey, you made a Welcome back for more Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Last time, we cut off the um, rest of the um, floor of dark magic. <coughs> However, the Pirate Masters returned to this world and. You guys threat on my Instagram land. <laughs> this is no good. Captain, pure evil has fallen upon our town. This can only be accomplished with dark magic. Uncle! I hope to never tell you this, but... I know all about it, Uncle and Mimic. This is the work of the Pirate Master. <laughs> you know the Pirate Master? But how? I'll explain later. I've got to get to Squimland Palace. Which is what we're going to be doing in this episode. However, much things have changed. Things have become quite gloomy and draining. Now, in Scarecrow Fields, there are no longer these Scarecrows, but rather, we have all these Mudball Creatures to um, tangle with me. Uh, I, I can't say you know, just how much I hate these things. Oh, and not to mention those robots as well. As it, okay, as you may have noticed, everything has gone dark because of the Pirate Master is evil. You can also finally destroy those hands that are creeping out of the ground. Which are, in a way, also a little bit jerkish, but whatever. We can hell in the park. Oh, these jerks! Uh, okay, what is with these jerks and just... Popping out of the ground. I keep forgetting where they where they are. I always get hurt by them. Ugh, it's annoying. Oh, but whatever. We made it to the Pirate Master's Palace. It didn't matter during that stretch because I was just running and had protection of sorts, but uh whatever. Okay. There's that. One calcal pet that I will be going for before the final battle, so trust me, I will be getting them. And that was inner. And uh the Master is just he's really didn't know where these cars they're out. Uh, this place has gone a complete redo. Read uh, this place is completely made over. So now the Pirate Master's return, we can go even further into the palace than we ever could. Okay, we need to climb the palace and confront the Pirate Master immediately. Alright, so right here. Is an area where I like this area, but at the same time, this area is kind of mean. This area loves its spikes. Like, no joke. Seriously. Uh, a lot of people actually find this to be kind of a mean area. Jason Point! This, okay, the. The palace itself, you don't have to worry about any enemies like whatsoever, thankfully. This area is just mainly hazardous. I just gotta wait for this platform to disappear! this area. Actually, I, I like this area, it's, it's, it's tough. Actually, it's, it's the area I say is the most fun area in the game. Just, it can be pretty tough, though. Uh, really out of practice in this area. Okay, I'm actually, I'm 
actually doing pretty good. Oh, I should have said that out loud. Uh, that's the general gist of that area. Okay, there we go. Okay. I really don't care too much for this area because I don't like you in this area. Mixed feelings, I guess you could say. Okay. We have a lot more of me to go through, unfortunately. I care! This area fucking sucks! You need to time this area just perfectly. You gotta go through these plants and just. You got this area in particular I was talking about right here. Yeah, pinpoint perfect timing! Because otherwise, you're gonna be screwed and just keep coming back to this area over and over again. Unless you have this timing down just perfectly like I did just then, you're not gonna be going anywhere, and that sucks. Uh, I said I was gonna be returning to this area later. I, like, I said I was saving that last cut of that before the final boss because that right there, that right here, that is, for, like, fortunately, you do have those, uh, can, can I actually make it right there? There you go. We I mean, maximum height in order to be further into the palace. This, yeah, just, okay, this area here. Here, I love this. Areas that make use of previous items that we've acquired on our journey, just to, to be able to just make it through this, this entire last area, is phenomenal. I can't tell you just how much I love this. Okay. Uh, I can't exactly do this right, unfortunately. Thankfully, this compare about is here. Like, we can... Charge up our boots. Not wearing all that much. Uh, this. You know, I'm just gonna break this area as much as I can. Except for there. Using Risky's boots in conjunction with Risky's cannon, I do find to be a, a decent enough tactic if you know how to pull it off. As you can see here, yeah, I, not only do I suck, but this area is also pretty tough as well, so just... So, forgive me if I'm failing a lot. At least I do have that excuse for this. Right, right. Okay, I believe this next segment here is... We need to use our... We need to use a pirate's hat. Indeed it is! Hey, I know Scramland Palace! Uh, well, I've certainly played it enough times. Okay, we need to be really, really careful here when traversing this area. Because, like, because again, so many spikes! I don't know what it is with the Iron Master just decorating things with spikes, like, like, even especially so these mega spikes. And you're not about to tell me that this place, like this game didn't have its, um... Inspiration from Super Mario World. It, it totally did. It's, especially just using these mega spikes. The inspiration is totally there. Okay, just flip this like that. And just... Fire... That uh, risky can uh, Can I shot away up here? How the cannon can give us enough capability to get us up to these heights, I don't you know. Okay, this area right here. This is where the um, pistol is most useful, actually. Well, that and that. Well, that. In the end, when isn't that that useful? Okay. We need to be especially careful here in this area because we need to scoot down certain blocks because otherwise we could end up screwing ourselves like I think I I just screwed myself! Fuck! 
worst part is, yeah, these platforms just, these platforms don't respond. So that's kind of what I was talking about this thing. Uh, I'll be right back. Fortunately, do you leave the palace? Do, do you have the grace of being able to come back? I would assume. Okay, back to where I was, and that's actually a pretty ample tip that if you are screwed over by that platforming block, if you accidentally hit the wrong block, you can leave the palace and come back. That is a pretty nice tip. Uh, that's what I should have done in the first place, it's like that, man. Still bullshit that even happened in the first place, but oh well. Uh, Those say you can't reset the past. Ha! Am I sulking? Pistol ray for these blocks. And just look. Too quick of the cannon. Uh, that's another thing as well, as you may as, as you see. The uh oh, I'm turning it into NCS. <laughs> but in all seriousness though. The cannon? can't destroy those gray blocks, so fortunately, you do have some indestructible blocks that you can rest on. And those particular blocks are basically just where you want to use the Risky's, Risky's Cannon. And, okay. You know the weapons themselves belong to the Pirate Master, but oh well. Okay. I just wanna use... Ah! Oh, okay, that was close. Just fire the gun from here and just blast away those blocks. That's generally the best... Okay, that's actually the best way you want to do things. Oh, why did I jump right there? Ah. That's... I guess you can say it's... Uh, risky move. Ha! <laughs> yes! Uh, I'm sorry, I had to make one pun with Risky Boots' name before ending things off here. I mean, come on, it would be a crime not to. Okay. This should be the last segment before we reach the top. Yeah, indeed it is. Remember this area? Yeah, it's just a combination of the fire hat, no surprise, and the cannon. And a bunch of bats for some reason. Arguably the easiest segment of the entire palace. Or whatever, I'm not complaining. Because we're already at the top. Top of the palace, where the Pirate Master lies. Next time on Dante and the Pirate's Curse, we'll be taking on the Pirate Master and bringing peace to all Squidward. See you guys then. <laughs>